In this video, I'm gonna talk about this silicone mold that makes this little guy. And if you can see, he's supposedly cured, but I just didn't really um, do a good job mixing it. That's the resin that I used, and I would recommend this resin all the time. Uh, on the reviews, it said that people did end up with this, and I actually saw people posting their product, and um, like it showed that it was flimsy, but I just wanna go out and say that this was the first guy that I made, but then here's the other one, and this one is fully, fully solid, and it actually, both of these came from that same bottle, and I never had an issue with, with that, it's just what happened was I just didn't mix it right. Um, typically I, I would just, I really don't even focus too much on the mixing. That's how good I thought that was. But after a hundred tries, it finally didn't, didn't cure right. But then I tried it again and this is confirmation that it was me. So if you buy this, it's perfect. If you don't, if you get something flimsy, like the other dog, it was basically, um, you just didn't mix it right. But anyways, back about this mold. Um, the one downside about it is that this doesn't always stand straight. Uh, I don't know if the camera, maybe you can see it with the camera. It kind of tilts over, uh, tilts over to this side. Um, it actually tilts like this over to this side. And once you're uh, pouring, doing your pour, you're gonna have a lot of the resin that's gonna spill over this way. So what I do is I typically just fill it up as much as I can without it spilling pop the bubbles on top, then I put it in that pressure pot right there. If you don't have one, I recommend you get one. It's from California Air Tools. Great pressure pot. You don't need to modify it. You basically, you buy it and it's ready to use. And once you do buy it, you are gonna need an, uh, an air pump for it. And this is the one that I use, which is also from California Air Tools. Uh, great product. It does not come with a hose, so you will need to buy an air hose for it as well. But this, let me see if it's, it's probably not connected. No, I don't have it connected, but it's super quiet. So I would recommend this one as opposed to buying one of the other regular air pumps that is just super loud and annoying. This one you can keep in your room. You don't have to worry about waking up your neighbors and all of that. But anyways, if you're doing anything with resin, I would totally recommend um, getting these two because it makes your job a whole lot easier. You won't see as much bubbles with it. So anyways, with this, um, with this silicone mold, I fill it up, put it in the pressure pot after about maybe eight hours or so, I'll open it up and then I'll fill it, I'll top it off again and then close it because once you put it in the, in the air pot, once it's, uh, the pressure is being pushed all the way down, you're going to have more space over there. And once that's semi cured, you can kind of put another pour in there. Otherwise you're going to end up with parts of the tail. Um, cut off if you don't do that so um, yeah but other than that um, it's a pretty cute design if you see right there even you even get like the the fur and all that in it 